next type of bonding we're going to look at is covalent bonding. Now covalent bonding is different to ionic bonding because it is where non-metals non bond to form molecules. Okay, so it only happens between non-metals. Any substance that's got a metal and a non-metal would be ionic bonding. Covalent bonding is non-metals. The key thing here is that we are sharing electrons. We are not transferring like what happens in ionic bonding. It is the sharing of electrons. So we're going to look at um, a molecule that contains uh, non-metals. So my example, first of all, will be H2. Now, when we're drawing covalent bonding, different to ionic bonding, we only draw the outer shell. So I can tell here, H2, immediately, I have two atoms of hydrogen. Now, the way we draw it, almost a little bit like a Venn diagram, we draw it so that the two atoms are overlapping. Now, in this position here is where we can draw the electrons that are being shared. So any electrons that are drawn here will be shared by both this atom and that atom. Now, again, the idea is that the atoms are trying to get full out to shell. Now, it's pretty easy with hydrogen because hydrogen, if we look at the periodic table, it has one for its atomic mass and one for its atomic number. So it only has one electron. So this hydrogen has one electron, that hydrogen wants, has one electron. Because it's only got one shell, when they react, they want to get a full outer shell. So they want two electrons. This one wants two electrons, and that one wants two electrons. So if this one has got one electron, if it's going to share it with this one, I draw it in that position. Now I've drawn it with a cross, just so I, so I can show that this electron comes from that atom. The electron for this atom, I'm going to draw using a circle. Again, I'm going to draw it in the middle because this atom is sharing its electron with that atom. Now, if we look here, both atoms, if you like, have access to those two electrons. So when I'm counting up the number of electrons this one's got, it's two. And the same with this one, it's two. So it's a full outer shell. That is a Perfect. hydrogen molecule. Perfect, Mr. Fradley. Now, Mr. Fradley, let's move on to methane. Okay, methane, CH4. Okay, now anything that involves hydrogen is pretty straightforward because we know it's only got one electron, it wants one more electron to get a full outer shell, so it's always going to be something like this. Now CH4 has one carbon and four hydrogens. So we draw it like that. Now remember what that means is that one carbon is bonded to four hydrogens. It doesn't mean that we have one carbon bonded to one hydrogen, then one hydrogen bonded to another, etc. That carbon is bonded to all four. So this is the only way we can draw it to represent its shape. Now again with hydrogen, each hydrogen has one electron. Okay, it wants one more, so I'm gonna draw it in circles. Now the circles are the electrons from carbon. Now if I just take a step back and look at this, this hydrogen, each of them has got two electrons, so it's got a full shell. Good. Carbon now, if I look, carbon has access to all of these electrons, so it has two, four, six, eight. Now carbon, if we look at the periodic table, has an electron